What's going on guys? This is Zach aka Zeo Fox here sitting next to my Delta 3D printer and this is going to be the first of many many 3D printing videos that I will produce for all of you people out there on the interwebs. Uh, granted it's taken me a little bit of time to get everything calibrated but hey what can you do? Calibration is key key when making sure these things are up and running in the proper way. So, let's get to the print. For today's print, we're going to be printing the Doctor Who TARDIS, and this is going to be a gift for my mom. I told her that I'd print this for her after I got the printer calibrated and up and running, and seeing as how it's already been calibrated, and we have a few test prints done and out of the way, making sure everything is nice and calibrated, we're going to go ahead and print her the Doctor Who TARDIS. Now the filament that I'm going to be using for this print is from PrintedSolid.com. They're wood fill filament. It's brought to you by the people over at ColorFab. And to be honest, even though it has the look and feel of the punks that you get from fireworks, it still boggles my mind that it will extrude from a 3D printer and make a hell of a decent print. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the print. Now that the printer is off and running, I can tell you a little bit about it. The program that I'm using to slice this model is Cura. Now you can use any number of slicing programs, it's just Cura is my personal preference. Now, the quality of this print is definitely not the highest that this printer can go. It can go to at least 0.1 millimeter layer height when printing it at 0.2, and the print speed is roughly 30 millimeters per second, which is definitely not fastest that this printer can print, but for the wood filament, I wanted to keep it slow so I could keep an eye on it and make sure I didn't have any snags or jams. of a good print so I'm more than likely going to be using the that setting for all of my future wood filament prints from 
SketchUp or AutoCAD or one Autodesk 123D Design, any of those that can produce an STL file, Cura can suck that file up, read it, and give you a nice clean file for your G code. Put it on your SD card, put it in the side of your printer, navigate to it, press print, and off it goes. And that's basically what I did here. So the print was successful and here is the finished product. As you can see, the resolution and build quality is absolutely phenomenal with this 3D wood filament. I am thoroughly thoroughly impressed that there is like there's like nothing wrong with this thing at all that I can physically see. Now I gotta take care of a little bit of edges here on the very very bottom but that's only because that I printed it with brim and it leaves some some little residue pieces left behind after you pull it off the bed so we're gonna break out the handy dandy multi-tool that's got a nice little file on it we're gonna file this down But there you go, fully 3D printed TARDIS out of wood filament. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be bringing you more videos like this in the near future, so keep an eye out for those. Go down to that little comment section down below. Tell me what you would like to see 3D printed, and who knows? Your, your suggestion might just be my next video. And as always, don't forget to like favorite, share, and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. It helps me bring more videos like this one to you guys. Alright guys, I will see all of you on the other side of the interwebs. Take it easy.